All right, so uh, video two here, as I promised you, we are going to be going over rune stones, where to get them, what to do with them, etc. And uh, just got to send out some farmers here first, or one, anyways. Oh, there we go. Again, the uh, private messages popping up on the screen. Always nice. It's all right. Uh, just looking for a higher level farm here because I am a bigger player and sending them out for these smaller tiles really just isn't worth my time as i gotta call them back all the time so just looking but i'm sure you guys don't mind this there we go that's good enough for me oh god and it's the wrong type of tile i want anything but that 10 i kind of want 11 plus here and i don't want food all right, we could do wood. I don't really care for wood too much right now, as I got a lot, but can always use it. I wish that Ebony would actually change this so on the quick uh, send outs, it actually came from the lowest level troops. But I guess uh, one of the reasons they probably do that is because it encourages. Uh, uh, probably spending on the game because if someone's going to tile you they're going to damage your better troops so as you can see here's my farming capabilities that's probably from a tile 10 I think 11 something like that so that's pretty good but we'll do farming another time so let's do rune stones so yeah so basically you can get rune stones from battlefields everybody knows that or you can get it from your daily activities when you complete it you see it right down there rune stones five you don't get too many but one of the actual ways that you can get them that most people don't know about is you go into the tavern you see this guy so I already recruited him and I already sold him but what I also what I like to do is buy any purple or gold general it doesn't matter what they are I buy them and I sell them and just as an example here I'm going to show you what else I do I build them up and then I sell them because really it's just a matter of investing gold and you turn that into rune stones and it's totally worth it so for example let's look at this Queen Jindiak no, I, I it's a bad example uh, because they are not home right now but let's go down let's see what else we got down here okay so Robert Guisegard right let's look at him good general not great uh, actually pretty annoyed I got him in a one of the epic chests and obviously I was hoping for more and I got this guy like he's all right when you look at his skills but the problem is when you look at his specialty skills they are all over the place so you got mounted there but he's actually a ranged general then you got ground and mounted then you got mounted there and ground like what's going on with this guy they couldn't have just made him actually uh predominantly all one skill set which is what you hope when you get a good general but obviously he wasn't but i've been hanging on to him for two reasons so one basically you look at his debuffs and that's obviously helpful when it comes to a subsidy he's not the best subsidy general he's not even close to being that he'd be mediocre at best but i have him in case because sometimes my subgens they die right so i have him as a backup plan but also this is the tip that i'm uh, here to tell you guys about so when i purchase generals i don't just sell them right away sometimes the purple ones i buy and sell with one uh, rune stone but you look at this guy and let's look at if I was to sell him. I would get 35 rune stones and 30 million gold back. So that means he cost 60 million gold, but he really didn't because I got him free. But I'd get 35 million rune stones. So you look at that and you're like, yeah, I could sell him and get 35. Or you can invest a bit more gold. Let's level them up. Level them up one, 39, right? Let's level them all the way up. 69 i just made 30 is the math correct there 34 more rune stones for investing some gold in him now that is a great investment to me rune stones are one of the hardest items to collect in the game and if i 
wanted to cultivate him. So let's look at him again. He's at 69. Let's do a little bit of cultivation. And I'm only using gold. Normally I use gems, but lately I've been switching to gold for the smaller ones. And now look, just a little bit of gold there. I probably did about 20 times 6,000 and I'm up to 72 rune stones now. So three more rune stones just for adding a bit of gold. Now I'm not going to sell him because I'm actually going to try and get him higher because if you look at some of the other generals, like if I go up and if I look at my Nathaniel Green, who most people don't really like, but I got him early. He was my first gold general ever, uh, gold epic. And I just went with him because the stamina. He really helped me build my keep because he saved me so much stamina and I wasn't a big coiner. But anyways, if I was to sell this guy, 305 rune stones because of how built up he is because he's fully cultivated. So I'm keeping him, obviously, because I really like his skill. Anyone who doesn't know right there reduces your stamina cost 25%. So that really does help. But he's kind of slowly losing uh, his prominence. He was by far my best general, my favorite one. I would send in every rally. But lately, I've been changing that. And he's getting moved down and down as I go with more higher luck people like the Bay Bars or just my actual, right now my top uh, rally general is Barbosa. Uh, where are you? God, where is he? There he is. So I'm building him up. I actually only got him two, three weeks ago. I was so unlucky forever. I could not get a good rally general and I finally got him and I'm just starting to build him up now. But that's basically my big tip here for getting rune stones is going into the tavern, buying any purple or gold general, and then going into your generals and selling them. So I'm at 42 out of 42 right now because I actually just got really lucky and just won uh, both of these today. So I just won Queen Baduka and General Sherman. So if you look at Sherman, he's worth 24 rune stones already, and Badika is worth 24, and I'll be selling them, but I'm going to be upgrading them first. So I basically, what I like to do is, I like to keep one slot open just for someone to buy. So I will be selling someone later today. Uh, not sure which one, as you can see, man, I'm full. I got so many and they all have a good purpose, good value for me. I'll go over different general values later on. But uh, this guy's my favorite, obviously, but he sucks in the game. So I never use him, but I just can't uh, sell him for obvious reasons as he's got the best name. But they give him such a garbage talent. So anyways, yeah, so buy them and sell them. And I'm going to be building those ones up uh, later and then uh, selling them. So yeah. Hope you like this trick. Uh, buy purple and gold generals. Build them up as high as you want. I recommend, uh, I'll just show you this one last thing. Oops, did not mean to do that. So this one last uh, thing, try and find a general here. I think my bay bars will be about the proper level to give you, uh, let's see what he's got here. Yes, perfect. Okay, so if you see these numbers, most people know this, but basically you can use gold all the way up to 300, and after that you have to use gems. So I would recommend just getting your guy up over 200 with gold as high as you kind of can. It gets annoying at some point, right, where you get too many reds and not greens, leveling them up, the numbers when you're doing it. But uh, get them as high as you can where it's not annoying to you, and then just sell the guy and get as many rune stones as you can okay so that's all for today uh, good luck getting those rune stones guys and uh, enjoy the game